Two suspects in the murder of 26-year-old Trenton Cornell Duran Lowe have been taken into custody without incident by authorities in California, officials said. Andrew Warren was arrested in San Francisco, California and Professor Wyndham Latham surrendered to U.S. Marshals at the federal courthouse in Oakland, according to Ed Farrell, a supervisory inspector of the U.S. Marshal Service's Great Lakes Regional Fugitive Task Force. They were both taken into custody without incident, said Chief Chicago Police spokesman Anthony Guilmi late Friday. They will appear before an Oakland court and be returned to Chicago where they will be questioned by homicide detectives, Guilmi said. Cornell Duran Lowe, 26, was found repeatedly stabbed and slashed in Professor Latham's home on July 27 in the 500 block of North State Street on Chicago's near North Side. Earlier Friday, police said Latham sent a video message to family and friends apologizing for his involvement in the slaying. In the video, Latham said had made the biggest mistake of his life, Gu Yalmi said. On Thursday, police said either Latham or Warren made a $1,000 cash donation in Cornell Duran Lowe's name at the Lake Geneva Public Library on the day of the slaying. The person gave no indication why the contribution was being made. See more videos Both men were wanted on charges of first-degree murder. Earlier, police said they had an idea of where the men fled. Latham, 42, is an associate professor of microbiology at Northwestern and Warren, 56, is an employee of Oxford University in England, who traveled to the United States for the first time just three days before the slaying. We believe they're together or at least in very close communication, said Gu Yalmi earlier. Gu Yalmi would not say when the video was made or when it was sent out. He urged Latham to turn himself in. At this point, HES reached out to family and friends, Gu Yalmi said. We don't want to see this get any worse. Police believe Cornell Duran Lowe was killed in Latham's apartment in the 500 block of North State Street around 5 a.m. on July 27. But officers were not alerted until an anonymous caller reached the front desk of the building around 8.30 p.m., more than 15 hours later. They found Cornell Duran Lowe lying face down, dead from stab wounds to his back, law enforcement sources said, in the kitchen. Police found a knife with a broken blade in the trash can and another knife near the sink. Blood was everywhere, the sources said. Police said they suspect Latham fled with Warren. Both men were seen on surveillance video at the building, police said. Around 5 p.m. that day, more than three hours before the body was discovered, one of the suspects walked into the library in Lake Geneva, WIS, and approached the circulation desk, according to Lake Geneva Police LT. Edward Gritzner, the man told a staffer he wanted to make a donation in the name of Cornell Duran Lowe but asked to remain anonymous. The staffer accepted $1,000 in cash from the man, who turned and left through the main door. No one saw him get into a car. The man did not specify what he wanted the money to be used for, and Gritzner described it as a general donation, nothing unusual for the library. They do take donations, a lot, as a matter of fact, he said. Accepting a donation is not uncommon. Four days later, Chicago police detectives arrived at the library and began asking questions. They showed the staffer a photograph of the suspects and the staffer picked the man out. The library does not have video surveillance, Gritzner said. He did not know if the man was Latham or Warren. Gritzner said Friday there was no indication the suspects are still in that area, but police had been searching just in case, were a resort town, a vacation town. 95% of visitors are people from Chicago, Gritzner said. We've checked the local motels, hotels and bed and breakfasts. We've been scanning for them every shift. It's an odd one, he said. Authorities have so far offered little information about what may have led to the attack. Latham and Cornell Duran Lowe were involved in some sort of relationship and had some type of falling out, Gu Yalmi said. He could not elaborate on the relationship and could not say how Warren knew Latham and Cornell Duran Lowe. Cornell Duran Lowe, who had been living in the heart of Chicago neighborhood, grew up in the small town of Lennon in eastern Michigan. He attended high school in Grand Rapids and earned a state certification in cosmetology in 2011. He moved to Chicago last year, telling friends he got a job at a salon in the city.